All right, in our last video, we created a virtual machine and, and numbered it 601. Now we're going to go ahead and start up that machine and install our software. All we need to do is come down here to the uh, right, left hand side, excuse me, left hand side, right click on our machine number, and then click start. And now our machine is starting up even as we speak. But we, 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 know we need to look at our console, so we're going to come up here to where it says console. And now we can see that the machine now is loading the files. We're actually looking as if we were looking at the display on the machine. So here's our standard installation. Um, screen. Make sure that we have English, English, and US. And then we're going to hit Next. We're going to go ahead and hit Install Now. Now here's where we're choosing the uh, type. So we're going to choose the Data Center <coughs> uh, right here. Uh, uh, it allows us to, to create uh, virtual machines on this virtual machine. And, and we're going to do the Desktop Spirit experience so that we have the graphical user interface or GUI installed at the time uh, of installation. So we're just going to hit Next. Here we have to accept the license agreements. Hit Next. Uh, as with all clean installs or initial installs, we're going to come over here to Custom. Okay. Now you'll notice that we don't have any hard drives and that's because uh, remember when we added that second hard drive to load the drivers for the Verdeo iSCSI drive. So what we have to do is come down here to load drivers and then hit browse right here where it says to install the driver. We're going to come down here to come down here and double click then go down to uh, VIO SCSI right here. Double click. Go to Windows 10 double click and we're going to choose the AMD driver right here the AMD 64 it'll search in there and come up with our Red Hat Verdeo SCSI pass-through controller uh, this is the one again we have an AMD uh, processor so we have to use the AMD uh, 64 uh, driver okay come down here and hit next now it's going to load those drivers now, of course, now you see our 80 gig hard drive uh, that was originally uh, made when we created the virtual machine. We just come down here and hit next. Now it goes through and starts that. I'm going to pause the video while we wait for the installation uh, to progress. Okay, and here we go. We're going to be restarting our computer in a few seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and restart now. It goes through. It goes back to our Proxmox. Now it's installing from the hard drive. Going to start up here, go through this a couple of times here. I'll pause and we'll get back together when it's going. Okay, and we're back. Uh, we're, we're at this screen now. The, uh, the server has started and restarted a couple of times during this process and we finally get here. Now here's where we're going to enter our password uh, for our administrator. Okay. Our administrator password is going to be our standard Dixie Tech uh, with an uppercase D, then exclamation point, lowercase x, exclamation point, 3, uppercase T, 3, and then the lowercase ch. If we look at it this way, then now it is Dixie Tech uh, with the special characters and such. And that helps us now to uh, prevent uh, uh, people from guessing our password. It's a very common word for us, but again with the characters, numbers, and things like this, it makes it very difficult to uh, guess. So again, we're going to type that in. Again, make sure we look at it just to make sure. Yep, it's the same. And we're going to hit finish. Okay, uh, to get into our computer, we're going to come over here. 
and we're going to click on the show extra keys and then the control alt delete we're going to put in our password and again it's going to apply all the settings and everything like that and now it should be set up ready to go we can start adding services and such on so and so again uh, yes we do want our uh, PC to be discoverable so we're going to click and here's our uh, you know network is internet access uh, we're going to go up here and says uh, we are not going to download the Windows admin center so we're going to say don't show this message and go ahead and close that window and now again here's all of our things uh, that we could now go ahead and do and so uh, this is now if we wanted to add Active Directory uh, we could add roles and features so on and so forth so uh, thank you for watching this video on how to set up uh, and install Windows Server 2019